Brothers and sisters, I want you to know about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know that at one time you were unbelievers. You were somehow drawn away to worship statues of God that couldn't even speak. So I want you to know that no one who is speaking with the help of God's Spirit says, May Jesus be cursed. And without the help of the Holy Spirit, no one can say Jesus is Lord. There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers by the same Spirit. There are different ways to serve, but they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways the Spirit works, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. The Holy Spirit is given to each of us in a special way. That is for the good of all. To some people, the Spirit gives a message of wisdom. To others, the same Spirit gives a message of knowledge. To others, the same Spirit gives faith. To others, the one Spirit gives gifts of healing. To others, He gives the powers to do the power to do miracles. To others, He gives the ability to prophesy. To others, He gives the ability to tell the spirits apart. To others, He gives the ability to speak in different kinds of languages they had not known before. And to still others, He gives the ability to explain what was said in those languages. All the gifts are produced by one and the same Spirit. He gives gifts to each person just as He decides. There is one body, but it has many parts. But all its many parts make up one body. It is the same with Christ. We are all baptized by one Holy Spirit, and so we are formed into one body. It didn't matter whether we are Jews or Gentiles, slaves or free people. We were all given the same Spirit to drink. So the body is not made up of just one part. It has many parts. Suppose the foot says, I am not a hand, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I am not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, how could it hear? If the whole body were an ear, how could it smell? God has placed each part in the body just as he wanted it to be. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? As it is, there are many parts, but there is only one body. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, it is just the opposite. The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are the ones we can't be do without. The parts that we think are less important we treat with special honor. The private parts aren't shown. They are treated with special care. The parts that can be shown don't need special care. But God has put together all the parts of the body, and he has given more honor to the parts that didn't have any. In that way, the parts of the body will not take sides. All of them will take care of one another. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part shares in its joy. You are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. First, God has placed apostles in the church. Second, he has placed prophets in the church. Third, he has placed teachers in the church. Then he has given to the church miracles and gifts of healing. He also has given the gift of helping others and the gift of guiding the church. God also has given the gift of speaking in different kinds of languages. Is everyone an apostle? Is everyone a prophet? Is everyone a teacher? Do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in languages they have not known before? Do all explain what is said in those languages? But above all, you should want the more important gifts. But now I will show you the best way of all.